I will say, uh, Jim Davis, one of my favorite Magic players. Yes, he's great. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, I can't watch him on Twitch just because you know time during work. But I watch basically everyone of his YouTube videos. I can't watch him too much or just anyone on Twitch because my internet is abysmally slow. And so I'll be watching and it'll you go for a few seconds and refresh and go for a few seconds yeah. and it just makes it unwatchable. So in Jim in Jim Davis's case though, I can watch it on YouTube afterwards. All right. I think I saw one, but whatever. Yeah, I've been intending to roll it there. Okay. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> So I would like to be on the play. My phone, my life counter, is right here. All right. Do, do, do. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let me not show. Let me not pull a Cedric Phillips and show everyone my uh, my phone's pin. There you go. He d he did that unfortunately on video. Ooh, fun. I'm not going to say what video it is. I mean, whatever. Unless you get his phone. Well, maybe it's one of those things. Yeah, I was about to say use that. pins in multiple places. I'm sorry, Seti. If <laughs> I hope I didn't do anything to. Oh, you've already cut. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess we're good to go. Right. So I'm up first. Oh, wait a minute. That card's not supposed to be here. So, context, context. My uh, my box of legacy decks was dropped, and all the decks got mixed in. So, a card, I had to pull a deck out of a bag I had left in the car. And spoiler alert, that is not in the deck. So you don't, you don't play exploration in I, legacy goblins. I do not. No. I mean, can I wanna, cycle wanna the trend. real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So exile that. Let me make sure that's still the case here. Okay, we're good now. Okay, we're good now. That is a. Uh, sorry about that. That's a very technical magic term. Okay. Oh. Um, let me think if this is keepable. Because I. Oh, I actually still have a sideboard card in. I'm sorry. Oh, you're, you're good. Same reason. Same good. Same thing. We're just put it in your sideboard and cycle a card. Two, three, I trust four, you, dude. This six, is seven, eight, nine, this is ten, casual eight, magic. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. All right. So we'll just cycle it. It's fine. And right. for for newer players, cycling just means discard a card, draw a card. Discard the card with cycling. Draw a card. All right, so I would like to keep. I will keep as well. Okay, cool. Um, so not quite the the read, unfortunately. Uh, Lotus petal. All right. Uh, I would like to pop the lotus petal for red. All right. I would like to go right of flame. All right. So there's red, red in the pool. Yeah. That's all right. I would like to go. So, Hyretic Ritual? It's the red in the pool and Storm Count 3. Yes. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Uh, empty the wards. And so I would like to make eight goblin, goblin tokens. tokens. Yes. All right. right. Eight goobles. Do you have eight goblin tokens? I do not have my eight goblin tokens. All right. So what I can... Hey, that works. It's in the graveyard. I don't have a way to give it flashback. Fair enough. Whatever. All right. And then I will pass the turn. Turn one. All right. T one. Empty the Warrens over here. Oh, oh, oh. I can see. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty enough. sure I don't have. It. It's it's funny if I if I decided to be to be less than scrupulous the the card the sideboard card was an engineered explosives. Ah, oh. <laughs> you didn't know the match either. So <laughs> I mean, it's good against Legacy Goblins. Yeah, but I just like turn one, you know, untapped watery grave, engine <laughs> explosives. Jeez. Actually, no, I would have played. I actually you played on zero, so I could have played it even untapped or yeah. tapped rather. Actually, no, I would have played it untapped and played the Delver in my hand. Ta da! All right, yeah. these are the cards that I am sideboarding out. And I am sextuple checking my deck to make sure it doesn't have any lands and cards in the tar belt. These are the cards that I am sideboarding in. Uh, some of these are not great cards to sideboard in, but they are certainly better than 
Yeah. The cards I'm sideboarding out. About that. All right. Ta da! I won't go first. All right. Makes sense. Seven. I will keep. Okay, um, all three of them. Then they take. They only take two points of damage each. What is it? 26. For what? Yeah. I mean, oh, it's Oh. I give you another D6. No, it is fifth level. So yeah, because you're doing it at fifth level. All right, three more guys. I will not, and as a result, I'll look to see how okay. it would have turned out. Um, uh, I, I usually find that was that. a good shove. That was a good I shove. I usually find oh, that more wow. tilt-inducing than uh, productive, but fair enough. I had the means, I didn't have the end. That's fair. And this is, as you can imagine, not a deck that wants to mulligan too far. Yeah, but it also seems like a deck that kind of has to mulligan sometimes. So. Sometimes. It, one of the reasons why it's as played as it is, I think, in addition to cost, uh, notwithstanding Lion's Eye Diamond, is because it is one of the more consistent turn one combo decks in the yeah. format. A lot of pieces are highly redundant. Less yeah. so now like a Taxing Probe is banned, but yeah. that's true for every turn one deck. Something like Oops All Spells loses to itself more often, I think, than Char Belcher. That's fair. I'm not super familiar with Oops All Spells. I'm not sure if your version is the stock or not. And then there's Manila Stretch, which yeah. can't no, mulligan. Wrong. If you mulligan, you time walk yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, 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 that oh, whole six. Yeah. Even though this is casual, I thought you pulled two, two, two. Yeah. Smack it with his And that is going to. I will keep. Scry. Uh, miss horribly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's kind of just going to scrape it along the wall. Oh, God. So that's the mimics. Uh, Keep. Exactly. All right. So this one kind of shuffled a little bit here. And... All right. I will second straight guy. Yes. Okay. So. Hey, you play that card. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I do too. Cycle straight right. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, Actually, these I two play a Vertical Catacombs right at you. Right. Uh, right. Resolves. <laughs> and I will... Mm. Crack it. Fair enough. Are you going to go to 13, my friend? <laughs> yes. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Okay, so I, I knew before what the match was. Um, I think you were under the impression, unironically, that it was goblins, and I was like, ah, ha, ha. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually didn't think you were serious, because I don't think goblins, the deck runs goblin tokens outside uh, of War the Marshall. one, war, yeah, War Marshal, outside of that one card. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, it's Empty the Warrants. <laughs> so, so when you asked if, I'm, if I was doing the Jim Davis special, I was thinking, well, he runs... The uh, fecundity combo um, in modern. He usually also sometimes it, it sometimes also has like a one of siege gang commander. Um, oh, I forgot about it's been so long since goblins and some, has been a thing. Some crazy people play the the Krenko mob boss. Yes, which I think is awful. So in that deck. Uh, magic history with T1 Glistener Elf. My first legacy tournament, uh, SCG Atlanta, whenever it was, was the second one that Max Tietz, T-I-E-T-Z, ended up winning. Uh, he, I think he won back-to-back -back SCG Atlantis. I don't remember there being a, a SCG there in between. With the same deck, Goblins, uh, which means he had to beat Deathrite Shaman that tournament. And apparently he did. Uh, uh, yeah? Huh. And pass. Okay. Um, Spoiler alert. Cycle, like one and a black cycle, is better than some cards that were in my main fair. deck. The reason I, I was, huh, is because Charbelcher is usually a deck that doesn't care quite as much about its graveyard. And right. No. Indeed, Oops All Spells can side into Charbelcher to play around graveyard hate. Right. So. I mean, I figure maybe incidentally it matters, but I figure mostly it's just better than a card or two on my main deck. Uh, land grant as an additional cost reveal my hand. 
Oh, and boy. I will play revealed for you. That's a, I think that's a good LED thing to do. Two LED seething song. Mana, 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 burning mana, 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 burning wish. And that's what's going on here. Mana, 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 right. mana, 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 burning wish. All right. All right. So it resolves. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's force of will or bust here, which is not the least likely thing for you to have in your hand. Mm-hmm. So apparently, Lion's Eye Diamond has been. The rules around it have changed in such a way that it's not nearly as bonkers. If I remember the way that it was said to me, I think it was on one of Channel Fireball's videos when they were talking about in one of their top eight lists. They were describing Lion's Eye Diamond in a time when you could use the mana what before the cards were discarded from your hand. Like, I think that was a sixth edition thing. I don't... It, you'd have to go and watch the video. Um, if it was the change from stack to batches, then possibly. You mean batches, batches to stack, stacks, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Maybe. I, I don't... Okay, so cool, I got a Taiga. To no one's surprise, and play Taiga. I would like to, if that'd be all right, I would like to play a Tender Wall. Resolves. I would like to play... Double Lion's Eye Diamond. I would like to play Lion's Eye Diamond. Resolve. Okay. Resolve. Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> Just doing it correctly. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. You have five cards in hand. This is correct. If one of them happens to be Force of Will, I'm going to get blown out super hard for trying this. Um, but I think this is a more likely avenue to victory. So we're going to go. I would like to. This one is going to. Kind of Exile a sim uh, a Elvish Spirit Guide, yes. the non-modern legal one. Yes. I would like to pop a Tender Wall. Okay. I would like to cast a Seething Song. Okay. All right. So I have five red in the pool. I would like to cast Burning Wish, hold priority, crack Lion's Eye Diamond for. So that, there is a question here. I mean, you've got force of will in your hand because you, you can't hold back the laughter. <laughs> and you're reaching for that card right there. Yeah, it's like, spoiler your, your alert. Tell is like... <laughs> I mean, I know exactly. I, the thing is, once you started make, taking this line, like, you were, you were committed. Okay, so a Charbelcher player has to be a poker player because you have to read your opponent, especially now that Gitaxian Probe is going on. Because if that had been a... This was a Gitaxian Probe. I didn't have the straight race. I had Gitaxian Probe. Right. So that would have been a giveaway. And that oh, tells course. you to play a different line. Of course. But I mean, once you play the land grant... Yeah. I, and and I, I saw basically exactly how you had to play out your hand. Or yeah. the possible avenues. Well, there is... I'm just like... Yeah, there is a diff... Uh, something that you could be doing here differently, or something that I could be doing differently based on your response. Oh, this is true. This is um, true. You could have gone not quite so all in on the seething song. I would like to make. But. Um, and I guess in theory you could like leave an LED uncracked. Or something. I'd like to make. Let's see. If I do this, that still leaves red, red, red in the pool. So I'll make blue mana. All right. Does Burning Wish resolve? God no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could you show me? No. Force of Will. Uh, Force of Will. Ponder. Okay. Okay, so very, very gone. And at this point, that's basically the game. Yeah. And actually, if I had thought about it for a moment, since I already had red, red, red left in the pool, regardless, I should have just picked any other color. I'll, I'll do purple. Yeah. Sure. And then I'll pass the turn. Ah, still playing. Respect yeah. it. I'm not dead yet! <laughs> Tis but a flesh wound! It's true that you are not dead. <laughs> Alright. Um, I will play Wasteland, Crack okay. Wasteland. Alright, it's dead, Jim. Crack Wasteland. Ugh. Oh no, you're good, you're good. I'm just messing with you. And I will pass turn. Let me check. Can the camera see? Oh, that might be a little too high. Okay, here we are. Sorry about that. Sorry, you too. That's why I have the camera turned that way, so we can see what's going on. Don't look. Don't you... <laughs> why? 
All right. Anyway, pass turn. So that's three bludgeoning damage, but then also. I'll play Bloodstained Mire, and mm -hmm. I will pass turn. Pass turn. And how many cards do you have in it? Two. All right. Black on a black background. I should get a play mat. And at the start of each of I will turn, cycle street race. Okay. I'll roll you to ten. I'm seeing a black wild nacatl coming out soon. Um, so just looking at these guys, these two look okay. They're a little splintery. This guy, you can see the kind of fleshy underside. The results? Uh, would you like Pyroblast? That's the reason I was saying Ugh, because that was my next card. That was my I, card would, card. I would like the Pyroblast. Okay, yep. That tells me you have another counter spell in hand. Alright, pass turn. <laughs> the MTGO Underground Seeds. Yes! Yes, I will pass turn. Alright. I don't like the OG duels. I think they look awful. Pass turn. And you have two cards in hand. Alright. Burning Wish and Emrakul the Young's Top. Now. Burning Wish and Draco. Black. Black. My dream in EDH is to cascade Draco and into Emrakul. I mean, you, I guess you can't do Emrakul. Uh, it is Lotus Petal, Burning Wish. So the the obvious tell there is I was trying to save Lotus Petal for uh, for Building Storm for burn for Empty the Warrens. Yeah. So I figured it was probably a ritual, but that yeah. works too. That works. And I will pass turn. Pass turn. Never give up! Trust your instincts! I will turn the up. wise words of Peppy Hair. Results? Alright. How, how large is the room? Yep. Is Pass. It, uh, 30 foot radius? Pass. Yeah, let's go there. Trying to hook a fireball? Oh. I'm trying to move somewhere to move back. Yeah. I will um, crack Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, so you could get, get I, said, I said, there we go. But you couldn't get here. Okay, so I can move back. He's trying to get a one. And uh, I'm going to do a lightning sword. I'm tempted after I draw my next card to just pass the turn to you in F6 so I can get a drink. All right. And so I don't have to shuffle twice. I'm tap Fluttery Grave? Yes, tap. Okay. I'm going to crack the Misty Rainforest as well. Fair enough. In the context of this deck, that is an actual question. So, uh, yes, it is. So is this just deck thinning to make Delver more likely to flip? So they're going to take that uh, effective for you. Yeah. Um, and, and also... Yeah. And is this a one underground seed list? Uh, no. Uh, I just feel like I'm at a low enough life total. Sure. Um... I, I don't know your list super well. I feel like there's a potential you have um, something like Pyrokinesis, uh, possibly you have Grape Shot. Um, and if I go too low, you could Pyrokinesis me out and I will look really dumb. Um, coming out of sideboard, I mean, I guess anything's possible, but for yeah, I don't, better or for I don't worse. Really, I, I know what the concept of Oopsal Spell and Goblin Char Vulture are, but like, yeah. they're so infrequently played nowadays mm -hmm. um, that I couldn't tell you their lists outside of like, you know, the idea of land grant, rituals, I think or Goblin Char Vulture. I think is actually pretty decent nowadays. Yeah. And a lot of the reason that I think that is that it's faster than a lot of the combo decks that have, like the animator, that have arisen partially out of the absence of Death Rite Shaman and partially out of yeah, that's fair. Force of Will being a little bit less played. Uh, that's fair. Bug control, leave all decks being less played. Um, and Char Belcher is just the same thing, but a turn faster. Uh, I'll untap. Mm -hmm. Take one draw for the turn. Or, I should have looked at it and then. That said, they lost Gataxian probes. So I won't reveal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, oh, casual right. game. It doesn't matter anyway, right? It wasn't a card that would have flipped over. Right, yeah. yeah. I'll take so, one, uh, go to 17, and I will play 
that. And two cards turn. in hand. Yes, two cards in hand. All right. Fair enough. Pass turn. Ah, uh, okay. You know, you could reveal the card even if it wouldn't flip the... D no, no, you're right. That is technically a legal, a legal play. <laughs> Let's not say we didn't. All right, 16. Cool. How many cards do you have in it? Three. All right. We're getting there. Uh-oh. Giant Grimog? Like, oh, we're hard casting straight uh, right. Uh, Let's do yes. it. Yes. Kind of like <laughs> Giant Grimog. Whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So kind of All right. Well, uh, one card in hand. Two. Yeah. Two cards still. Okay. Woo. Pass turn. Never give up. Trust your instincts. I will reveal days. Ah, uh, no. No. I hear days is better than force of will against me. All right. That's one for six. Do, 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 do. Fear the Street Wraith clock. Yeah. All right. I do. Um, and I will. Okay. Um, so this kind of. Oh. I revealed two cards, or I saw the second card, but I'm dead here anyway, so whatever, I guess. It's like it's pretty much pretty much burning and kind of evolves back into his performance. Yeah, sticky slaves. So the next card is Lion's Eye Diamond. I see the clock I'm under. Uh, I concede. Out of curiosity, did you actually have Force as the other card? A stubborn <laughs> denial. Okay, just about that's as good. good too. Just about as good. Fair Except enough. Except for the turn I tapped out. But I uh, felt like, yeah, yeah, I felt like, you know, if my double didn't flip for a couple turns, yeah, the increased clock of just being able to swing for three every turn was was good. I I wouldn't if I were you, but I can see a case there. Yeah, it's it's a really hard decision. All right. Um, Oy, we'll get another shot at it. My deck just body slams the table real quick, just casually. All right, there we go. Yours does too. I would like to be on the play, to no one's surprise. Seven. <laughs> I love whatever I'm hearing over there. I will uh, mull and see what the top would have been. Oh. All right, good shove. Good, holy crap, good shove. Now, especially now that Probe is out, one of the weaknesses to this kind of deck is that you can have a hand with all of the means, but since there aren't any tutors, right. you don't have... There are 11, like, will, payoff cards. I'll, I'll keep seven. Keep, okay, and there's a force of will. There are... 11 payoff cards in this deck. And so you're likely to have one in a given opening hand, at least one, but lo and behold, if you don't, you usually can't keep the hand. Against slower fair decks, all one of them, <laughs> you can do that. Blue white? Uh, no, because they, they're a blue deck with force of will. Like, well, I, I guess. That's the slowest fair deck I can think of, but you might not consider it yeah. fair because Force of Will. Well, maybe like a goblin deck. You you oh, have yeah, a couple yeah, turns yeah. to go um, yeah. to go hunting or something against like el elves. Maybe you you definitely have a turn to draw in That's elves. Fair. So you effectively you have eight cards in your hand there in game one. That's fair. Later on, you have to worry about thoughts and ball therapy. Can, it's very infrequent. Elves can turn to you, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Six. Okay. Um. Let's think about this here. Okay. I'll keep. Scry. Um. That makes. Zero difference here, doesn't it? 
when you're on YouTube, always be above reproach, right? That's fair. I mean, in your case, whatever, but in my case, I'm always on here. That's fair. This is... I'm glad we don't play chess clocks in this game. I'll keep that. A CFB author wrote about the idea of using chess clocks in paper magic and actually got some people to do it. Cycle? Alright. Land grant. Additional cost. Reveal hand. Tinderwall, Pyroblast, Goblin Charbelcher, Elvish Spirit Guide, Xanted Swarm. I mean, you know what Charbelcher does, right, I imagine. Right, 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 right. I strongly so suspect. So, you get the tiger. Yeah. I'm just thinking about this. While you're doing that, I'm gonna get something to drink real quick. Yeah. You're right back. Is it a real door or is it another Well, okay, so he gets the taiga. Has one mana. Uses that to that. Has two red. Two red and a green. So he can't play the Charbelcher this turn? If he can play the Xantid Swarm. Hmm. All right. All right. So we're good. I'm going to play. You know, I should have said this earlier. I'm going to play Reveal. But it resolves. Results. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, you come to a, a split in the tunnel. So you've got uh, kind of a wide section right in the middle, and then two paths, one to the left and one to the right, identical, still circular. Um, you can see that they they go out about 30 degrees and then go straight on. Right, my friend, I would like to see if I can resolve a Xantan swarm. Yeah, so, so if this resolves, really nothing else from you, yeah. everything else from me will, rather. Right. Right. Oh, I re I messed up. Now, in your defense, if you had countered the land grant, Simeon Spirit Guides, Antid Swarm, or Elvish Spirit Guides. Yeah, which is why I was thinking about I wasn't going to do it, but maybe that was still the wrong line. Uh, well, I don't know, maybe I didn't mess up as bad as I think I did, because exactly, I, that, that is what you were going to do. Right. Um, yeah. but without knowing the contents of your hand, I don't know, or apparently the deck yeah. would have been right. You no, have okay, no, 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 that's, that's, yeah, hmm. all right, well, I mean, force pitch, stubborn denial, yeah, but, yeah, wait, all right, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, it, it's it's good. I was yeah. thinking through something as well. Yeah, I'm um, you know, gonna turn it around. Plain revealed, but turning it around. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that's. I think this is still. Eh, I don't know. Maybe this was the right one. Either way, the only other thing I could have done there is Spirit Guide, Tenderwall, Pyroblast. I I think that's a little greedy. I don't want to use red mana and waste red mana. Right, 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 right. Exactly. Um, but. While the shields are a little bit less up, I'm going to Elvish Spirit Guide. Yeah. Tenderwall? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I will pass the turn. All right. I will I feel like Naruto doing some hand signs or something. Untapped. I'm just popping my fingers. <laughs> Cycle Street Wraith. Yes. So it's heavy down the hallway? Dig for Force of Will. Yes, that's all I've been told. Actually, in this spot, Force of Will would not be good. Uh, Stubborn Denial, Spell Pierce. Hey, hey, good to see you. I'm a... Uh, Cycle Street Wraith. Maybe losing with Tar Belcher? Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's fun. Tar <laughs> Belcher's always fun, yeah. At least it's over quick. Yeah, there's... Well... Oh. For someone a little bit smarter than I am, perhaps. 
Ooh. Okay, that I think tells me more blue cards. Would you like to play some vintage after this? You may, you may not have a, enough time, you said, right? Right, right, yeah. I, mean, I need to go to the Angels real quick after. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can just play with him, that's fine. Okay. I've got a Deacon's in my deck tonight. Oh, and you've accounted for... Yes. Holy crap, you're already at 11. I am. Well, um, yeah, great shot. Maybe should be in the side in the wish board. Two, four, six. Oh god, no. Shouldn't that be it? Oh, first of all, that was the right. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, pass. Yeah, because that had to be an odd number, I think. Exactly. That's why I was going to be there. Have you? I'm going to walk to where he is and take another, take a step. Okay. Well, to, yeah, to where he stopped. Yeah, okay. No, it's a wall. Past turn. It's one of those old walls that doesn't say defender, but the yeah, but type the, wall the implied. Type wall implied, implied yeah, yeah. yeah. Play Wasteland. Ooh. I'm going to go back. I'm going to start walking down the red wall. Float red. Alright. I'm going back. I pass my second main. Okay, it, it dissipates. I play a, a bear. Hi, bear. And I pass turn. And that's still pretty good. I will cycle. I too might have a bear. Oh my. Ah. Let me look in the land stack real quick now. Not that casual, I don't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god! Is it, on Magic Arena, uh, in best of one formats, wishes actually go to your entire collection. I was about to say, which so is I, very silly. I made a video called "How to Win a Game of Magic in Half a Mana." Yeah. Based on the. I've, I've, I've watched that. You yes, watched that? It's good. So you remember the uh, burning wish to go get you a card from your collection? Normally, it gets from your sideboard. It gets from any of your decks. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in the description if I remember to do that. So uh, go check that out. Maybe there's an iCard. iCard. That isn't going to work, Jay. That that is not how that works. Pass turn. Um, you're going to take one blood damage. Yes. Alright, I will play... Oh. Hurt yeah, yourself a bit more. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Swing for two? <laughs> it is a two-two. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I can just block it with an O3 and then pay red and kill it. Oh, if yeah. I can no granted I, right I now. I forgot I that wasn't the tap red. ability. I can't pay red unless I have a Simeon Spirit Guide in hand. Right. Um Well, Thoughts use a sorcery speed. So you could street wraith and kill my tender wall. Right Which I don't <laughs> given the way that you played that out where you attacked and then kinda took it back. Yeah, I don't think was, you have a straight wraith in hand. That, so was, that I, was just a mistake on my part. That's gonna chunk here. I was I was thinking eh, whatever. That's okay, know. okay. It's okay. I was thinking that, like, oh, there's no reason for me to attack. Oh, right, I could have a Street Wraith. And yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Now I've played Paper Magic in a long, long time. It, it's okay, dude. And it's also a weird deck. It, You're not used... Well, I'm, I'm, not not, used I'm, not, I'm not used to seeing that card. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't block much. Indeed. It's a one mana 03. Indeed. Ooh. I want to try to resolve this now. Alright. Um... And he's in the center, in between the two. Yeah, there's kind of a wide. It, it's about seven or eight feet wide. Um, in this case. It's like he's I will daze it. Pitch an Elvish Spirit Guide. Pay the one. Okay. How's that sound? It's all solid. All right. Anything else? It's still in the stack. No? All right. Cool. Yay! Start calling around. 
How does this card work? It does not. How does that work? It's too greedy. You have one card in hand. Two, two cards? Oh, there it is. All right, there we are. Oh yeah, sorry. I guess, I guess yeah, holding it like this isn't really too well. Even if it's the way, even if it's the way I like to, to fine, see my cards, I should try to not do that. Okay, so I'll, I'll share the camera. This is what I am considering doing. I don't think that that's right. It is weird beyond comprehension, and I don't think that that's correct. So we are probably not going to do it. We are not going to do it. There's a solution to that. I kind of want to do something janky just for the sake of it, though. <laughs> like, you have two cards in hand. How much time would that give me? I, I think you're probably going to find what you need more quickly than I will, though. But you don't have Street Wraith. I want you to use another Force of Will. You know the, the the idea of YOLO? Yes. We're uh, we're YOLOing here. Pop for red, red. Alright. Burning Wish, hold priority, Lion's Eye Diamond. Red. Sure. So you have three red floating? I have three red floating. I would like to pyroclasm your death shadow. Wow. Okay. It's a two two. It's dead. It's dead, Jay. Yes, and even though this is in the graveyard, I'm going to put it over here because I have an awful habit of forgetting my sideboard cards. Mm -hmm. There is one sideboard card that that keeps happening to. Pass turn. Oh. Let's do this. Please pass the turn. Please. Okay. Lion's Eye Diamond. Pass the turn. Do you know the concept of yellow? Okay. Uh, okay. Correct. That's correct. Pass. All right. I would like to resolve a lion's eye diamond. Pass turn. <clears throat> it resolves. Admittedly, not the top deck I want to see with lion's eye diamond on the field, lion's eye diamond in the yard. Indeed. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Welcome to Charbelcher, how it's not sure. supposed to go. Do it. Eight? Yeah. Six? Uh, I would say that. Alright, cool. Excellent. We have a moment. It's kind of, it's, he orbs up on like kind of four prongs. Nope. Ah, uh, fair enough. <laughs> when I was in high school, maybe this says something about where I'm from, but some of the kids would do this. Let me, let me shuffle first, and then I'll try to do it. I don't know if this is a movie reference or what, but when you flick your index finger against your middle finger in such a way that it makes this mm, loud snapping sound. Liana the last two. And I will plus one. Okay. Uh, nothing. Seven. Okay, I have a clock. Sort of. Sort of indeed. Sort of indeed. <laughs> All four lines on diamonds. Nice. Um, nice. Last turn. I actually probably shouldn't have played that there. I should not have played that there. You have one card in hand? I do. Alright. Well, I can at least Liliana threaten five. something. Yes. And I will... My thought sees. It is a Burning Wish. Bye, Burning Wish. And I have a choice turn. to play that early anyway, so it's alright. Pass turn? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. it. Pass turn. Sorry, I thought that was a question of... Oh. Okay. Alright, so we'll tick up Liana to six. And I will play... Did you think your Charbel Tree game was going to go this long? I, I mean, I'm fine on that. Yeah. Um, pass. Pass. 
Pass. Four. Okay. The about the same place as I And take Liliana up to seven. Pass. Mm -hmm. With that many cards in hand, I think you're probably safe, actually. Probably. <laughs> Pass. What I would do for one good flashback card in this deck. Not Liliana named Faithless Living. Emblem? Yep. I should print out an emblem. Token, shouldn't I? Eh, didn't think about that. Oh. Um, if I just like turn her sideways, I guess. I mean, does that, does that work? That's fair enough, I suppose. All right. And then I will. Can we put her on the field so she's a little easier oh, yeah, to that's, remember? That's fair. Yeah, like here. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. I'll pass her. And on the. Oh, it's on the instep. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they'll get to attack next turn. Yeah. For whatever reason, Zambos. I was thinking it was upkeep. Zambonis. I only have six. I'm sorry. How many cards do you have in hand? That would be five. Zambonis. That's what they're called, Zambonis. I like to play a Lotus Petal. Results. Pass turn. Right. Woo! Sorry, that was much louder than I thought. Right, yeah. Small room. Woo! Okay. I'll pass turn. You but get two more. No. I no, you get four, four more. more. Okay. Let me make sure. At the beginning of your instep, X. She ramps X up is quick. X. Okay, yeah. X is two plus She's the number clock. of zombies. She sure is. I have one turn to draw into something. And to make it past your counter magic. Yeah. That might be a trick. Unfortunately, I have all means and no end. I can make all the mana in the world that I want. I can crack lion's eye, hold priority, clack, crack lion's eye, hold priority, cl crack lion's eye. Hold priority, crack lotus petal. <laughs> yes, but uh, unfortunately, I have nothing to spend it on. Ah, uh, so, unfortunate. Yeah, it is what it is. May I see your hand? Brainstorm. There's a Night force of will. Bomb, Liliana of the Veil. Force of will to pair with the brainstorm. Thoughtseize and a force of will that I can hard cast. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Um, you know, with the Xanta Swarm and the Pyroblast, I may have no, yeah, played it incorrectly. Well, yeah, it, I don't know. It's it seemed wrong to inefficiently use my mana to have Xanta Swarm hold up Pyroblast. Right, but yeah. in this case, it might have actually ended up working out. I don't know. to say. That's an interesting deck, and I've never played against it. So, and Pyroblast also was probably wrong, but because Burning Wish could have been an Empty the Warrens, but at the time, I assume you had... Well, maybe you didn't. You had two cards in hand. Maybe you didn't have Force Blue card. I actually did not. You did not? So no. if you, if I had waited, what would the next card have been? Oh, it was Lion's Eye Diamond. That's right. Oh, okay. So Your it wouldn't have made a difference. I can't call it my next card would have been. Okay. Um, yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference, unfortunately. Yeah, my, my sideboard plan was... Um, oh, I should be playing out my sideboard card. Well. Yeah, so well, I, mine was... Mine was uh, take was out... Xantid Swarm 3 Pyroblast, I believe? Or maybe... It was all of my removal, Pyroblast. because I forgot about the existence of Xantid Swarm. I, oh, think, yeah. I took out the reanimates just because I feel like they're not nearly as good when I'm only reanimating something out of my graveyard. Yeah. Um, no one expects Pyros Pyroblast, don't worry. Or Xantid Swarm. No, I mean I should have. I know it's a storm. I know it's a storm slash anti blue card, like a storm card to to play against blue decks. And okay. so that was a mistake on my part. I should have expected it. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's Nothing it's a mistake you make. Nothing standard or, anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, I brought in Liliana the Last Hope, as we saw. I brought in Nihil Spellbomb because I feel like it's better than. I felt like it was better than all of these cards, but I should have kept a snuff out. Okay. Um, correct. I I agree. I mean, you you fair enough. Heck, I probably should have actually. Taken out the Liliana. I, I probably shouldn't have brought in the Liliana the last time in that regard. Uh, but then, uh, then again, she is a good clock. She is. She's she's pretty nice. Well, I mean, if if, we so if the game has gotten to the point where I can resolve her, she is another clock. One way that I could and I feel have like that is yeah. Hand to Turok. One way that I could have changed the deck real quick while I'm thinking about it is that on the play, I yeah, could have explosive. not had the Xantis, or I could have had only one and not the other. And I don't know, as I'm not a Charbelcher pilot. I don't know which one would have been correct. That's fair. But that is something I could do because it enables me to add back in the cards that I cited out. I have three Manamorphos and two Rituals, two Rituals, mm -hmm. different Rituals, uh, to make the deck get that mana more consistently. Right. So this is the way to hold you back for a little while. This is the actual payoff. 
Yeah. You are so what was it that you... So that was in, this is out. Interesting. Oh, um, the camera can't quite see the out. Oh, sure. I, if I can, I'm sorry, if I can scoot those over for yeah, you. Yeah, of course, that's of course. Yeah, the light total doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, the Spoiler hands, alert, GG. The Liliana twins. Yeah. Snuff out. Probably should have still been in over uh, Fatal Push. Because every land in my deck enables snuff out. Yeah. Um, again, the, I, I don't think the reanimates are good unless it's there's at least something in the opponent's graveyard. Um, and they're, they're fine in game one because you know it, it randomly just hoses reanimator. Mm -hmm. In uh, fair deck mirrors, you can you can grab something. Um, push comes to shove, you can reanimate Street Wraith. Yep. Um, to ding yourself for five, to just get a gigantic death shadow. I keep forgetting that this lets you get a creature from a graveyard at yes. instant or at sorcery speed, but yes. at one mana. Um, I think it was LSV did a, a blue black shadow list after you know, like, like in the co in the few days after um, Utter Layton. Sure. Uh, you know, took second at the Pro Tour at it uh, with it, and he like his opponent turn one, you know, pitches Grizzle Brand. Um, doesn't Welcome go off, sure. and then LSV on turn one, the animation the grows a brand. Yep. Reanimator just was get destroyed. the deck that was expected to be the, the to gain the most out of yes. Deathrite Shaman yes. Band, so it makes perfect um, sense. Yeah, and it, it might be an incorrect meta call, depending on what people play here, but I, I was I stuck with the stock 75, except I think right. Lillian of the Veil is on We've stock. We've got I can't, a I need to look up. Oh, I need okay. to look up what I accidentally put in instead of another card. But I think I was looking at the list the other day when I wasn't. When I didn't have access to, to my deck, and I was like, wait a second, well, the other shouldn't be in there. I mean, and I think what happened was... We have a, um, a true name nemesis pilot, so it's... Okay. Sure, no, of it's course. A, now, of granted, course. that's a merfolk pilot, so there's usually a creature to sack instead, but... Sure, that's, sure. That's, yeah. um, it's not wholly wrong. I, I, I forget. I think there's some, there's something that should be in there instead of that. I forget where it is. Um, so it might not be the, the utter latent 75, but if it's not, it's one card off, and I... I made the mistake. Oh, what I think what happened was is I forgot to print off a, di a diabolic edict, and I had her. Yeah. But then I ended up just going ahead and eh, I screw it and printing off a diabolic edict. Fair enough. Well, congrats, and hopefully I'll have a I'll have a better match against you next time. No, we're one and one lifetime. Hey, there we go.